very good uh, good morning to one and all today we will talk about the hardware architecture for parallel processing this is dr shobha rani professor of department csc rmd engineering college i would like to explain about the hardware architecture for the parallel processing in cloud computing we have the architecture for the parallel processing we have four types of the computer systems that architecture provided for the parallel processing you know what is meant by parallel processing so different types of the tasks are different types of the tasks will be processed simultaneously only we are going to do it as called as a parallel processing it is an opposite to the sequential processing we have four types of the computer system one is nothing but the single instruction second one is a single day single instruction instruction single data system second one is a single instruction multiple data third one is nothing but the multiple instruction single data and then the multiple instruction multiple data we will see one after the other first we will see the single instruction single data the single instruction single data is nothing but we will one instruction will be there and you are going to give a single data that is nothing but as we all know that it is a uni processor capable of executing only single instruction with only your single data okay machine instructions are processed sequentially that means you are going to process not in the form of a uh, uh, frequently it is in the it will be in the form of a sequential one after the other only it will be processed because you are going to give one thing one instruction and you are going to handle only one data the processing is limited to the rate because the computer can transform the information internally internally because this is not the fast because you are going to do it sequentially the processing speed will not be that effective but still this is also a success for this one ibm pc and then manichons are the best examples for this one okay we'll go for the next one this is a single instruction single data see here the data input the data input has been given to the process and you will have the instruction stream here one single input has been given one single input stream has been given and the output is going to be performed this is a, actually this is nothing but the single instruction single uh, data we will uh, come back to this slide after afterwards okay this is nothing but the single instruction multiple data as the name itself shows that we will have the single instruction and we will have the multiple data will be given actually this is of the multi processor machine capable of executing the same instruction on cpu but the operating on a different data stream so that means you have a bunch of databases or a bunch of datas that will be provided to you and then you are going to uh, give only one instruction say for example ca is equal to ai multiplied by ba na can be passed with different types so n sets of the data that is nothing but the uh, single instruction and a multiple data there is the best examples are nothing but the cryas vector processing machines and all we will we'll see the diagram for this one you have the data input 1 and data input 2 data input till data input 1 and you have the processor 1 processor 1 so on up to the processor n that means one data has been given to one processor another data will be given to another processor the third data has been given to other process then you will have the single instruction stream the same instruction has been given to all the processors with the different types of the data so you are going to get an output uh, with the, with the same we are going to get an output in the form of a multiple ways because you have multiple a single instruction but multiple data and multiple output will be uh, you you will be able to get data we will go for the next topic is nothing but the multiple instruction and a single data that means you are going to give so many instructions but handling only one single data that is nothing but the multiple instruction and then single data it is nothing but the multi processor machine capable of executing different instructions okay for example y is equal to sin x plus cos x plus tan x and all this is nothing but the multiple instructions you are going this is the best example for this one okay few machines are built but none of the available are commercially mm. we'll see the diagram of this one uh, here we see here the multiple instructions and a single data you are you are supplying only one single data input you have the instruction 1 for the same data and the instruction 2 for the same data in processor 2 and the instruction 3 for the same data in the processor uh, 3 also so you are going to get it as a single data uh, output stream only you are going to get because you are going to give a data input single and you are going to get it as an output uh, single A single data output we will go for the multiple instruction and a multiple data if a multiple instruction and a multiple data is nothing but uh, you are going to uh, give multiple instructions and multiple datas will be given see here the data 
here the multiple data multiple instructions has been given the diagram will shows you you have a data input one has been given data input two has been given data input three has been cut for the various types of the processors and the multiple uh, instructions also has been given called as instruction stream one stream two stream three and all you are going to get it as a multiple outputs also you will get is a data output one and a data output two and data output uh, three we'll go for the next topic called as a shared memory multiple instructions and multiple data machines okay you are going to share the memory for the multiple instructions or multiple data that is nothing but the collection of instruction and collection of data but you are going to share the memory the communication between the uh, in this model takes place through the shared memory okay so you are not going to give a separate memory or a single memory under a global memory will become a, will be provided for your multiple instructions and multiple data and you are going to get a multiple outputs also okay and your uh, modification is the modification of the data stored in the global by one one pc afterward is possible by all the other pieces also okay so this is nothing but the best examples for this is nothing but the silicon graphics machines and, and sun microsystems and sun ibm and all symmetric multiprocessing this is nothing but the shared memory and distributed memory machines here you are going to get a shared you have a memory machines this one is nothing but the shared memory and this one is nothing but the distributed memory here the same memory has been distributed has been shared for the processor one processor two processor three the diagram simply explains what it is doing it it is a distributed memory is nothing but you have the, you have the different types of the local memories that provided that means one size of the memory only will be given this processor one will be using of one type of one set of the memory and then processor two will be using the next set of the memory and processor three will be using like that the, it continues we have a distributed memory and then the machine uh, um, 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 multiple instructions and multiple data so we have seen just now the pieces that are uh, parallel uh, parallel processing how it will be done okay uh, we have shared versus distributed and all which is the best one and all we have the shared memory uh, uh, as well as the distributed memory for the multiple instructions and multiple venue memory the shared memory is easier to program but it is less tolerant to failures and harder to extend with respect as well as you as you know that more uh, if the failure successes the entire memory that has been shared you will be um, you, you will not be able to recollect it back okay so that's why that's uh, the failures will be there in the shared memory and the failures in the shared memory will uh, uh, affect the entire system because all are in the same shared memory but in the shared memory less likely to scale because the addition of the more pieces leads to memory contentation but in this situation uh, distributed memory you no know, we will not be able to get that uh, uh, tolerances of the failures will be less because we have be, we have been uh, distributed the memory as a local memory their own system their own memory they are going to make use of it so distributed memory architecture always uh, suggestible now we instead of making it as a shared versus memory thank you so much